I think probably the biggest surprise we hadn't expected when we started on this path a year and a half ago is, I think it's caught a nerve somewhere. It struck a nerve. People are coming out of the woodwork trying to find ways to help. So whether it is charter school operators or community organizations or technology companies who are donating some of their time for free, et cetera, uh, it, we found a lot more help than we thought we would have when we set, this, uh, set on this path. I'd like to say it's not ancillary to what we do. It's, it's core to the learning moment. So the, the teaching moment couldn't exist without the technology. The way we provide social supports couldn't exist without the technology. The way we create the networks among the students, the way we create visibility so that whether it's the faculty or the success coach or the peers have instant access to the students' various uh, key data points using the student dashboard couldn't happen without the technology. Uh, the, the way we run our analytics model, the predictive analytics, Analytics, the descriptive analytics. There's just a bunch of things around uh, uh, the whole model that we couldn't imagine doing this without technology. Having said that, I'd say, you know, uh, we're about student learning outcomes first and foremost. Technology is a means to that end. Uh, we just can't imagine Portmont existing without the technology. I'm new to the sector, and I, when I first uh, started looking at this a couple of years ago, I kept hearing about this iron triangle of cost and quality and access, and how if you couldn't really improve uh, any one of those without adversely affecting one or both of the others. And I think we're seeing more and more evidence to the contrary. And I think what it takes is a combination of uh, taking a number of point innovations in uh, pedagogy or technology or social supports, et cetera, and combining them in a new business model that's been built from scratch to simultaneously lower cost, broaden access, and improve quality. Now, we at Portmont College at Mount St. Mary's have taken a particular approach to it, but we won't be the only ones. There'll be many models emerging for different student segments who find different ways to attack that iron triangle.